From Jack Parker Rink, welcome to Boston University Hockey. Bernie Corbett, Mark Linehan, glad you could join us on ESPN+. Plus. The Terriers uh, will try to get even here tonight. They did pick up a point last night, but uh, clearly some disappointment in the effort overall. Brown trying to get a step. Brown gives it up here. Peterson, a little toe drag, puck came loose. Backhand and a goal! Hudson, Wayne Hudson, gives the Terriers a one to nothing lead. 5.28 to go here, first period. Back, the ball circled back. Now a steal behind the cage. Scoop centers back. it to Brown and a goal! Scoop from the back wall, and Brown wastes no time, 2 nothing. Loose puck, one on one battle. Terriers win it. Quick no look pass. I don't know if there was some communication from the forward yelling that he's open, but boy, he got it. Brown, he got rid of it. That's a goal scorer. Matt Brown is uh, no stranger. This is an example right here. You did not allow UConn to set up defensively. You get it, get rid of it, one time, yeah. boom. No time for structure there, Mark. Nope. Puck is cleared back. Wheeling to the near circle. Lucas drop back for Torberg and a goal. They swing O'Brien. O'Brien takes a high roll. Fensori cross side shot and a goal from a far circle. Matt Brown. And the Terriers do cash in, and all important, still with a power play opportunity. Yeah, you said it, Bernie. High roll, moving the puck around the perimeter. UConn staying in that tight triangle. Got the puck to the back door there. Goaltender never had a chance. He goes deep. Weber then lost it to Tiamonti. Tiamonti looking to go down low. Lucas closes down here to the near corner. He got forced. Good play there by Hudson. And now the Terriers on the jump. Over the line, jailbreak Brown. here. Brown for Hudson and a goal! Oh, fast break hockey there for the Terriers on the initial rush. Well, we've been talking about it all night, Bernie. Once UConn falls behind by two, they're a different team. They get aggressive there, they crash the weak side defenseman. Terriers use the speed in the transition game. Come down two on one, three on one. Oh. Lane Hudson jumps up into the play and buries it. Full jailbreak there. And, uh... Gonna see, was it was was Hudson in or was Peterson in? Let's I see. I thought the first one went in. I thought the first one went Maybe in. Maybe not. Maybe not. Peterson followed it up. So I think it's gonna be Peterson yep. burying it. Yep. Well, and Hudson had it, but the red light went on for Hudson. <laughs> it, it did. It absolutely did. The game here tonight to watch the Terriers. Now Puck turns over and now a race back the other way. McCarthy got to try to get it back on a step there and a goal. Torberg just did. Flipped that one by Duplessis. Got him moving a little bit. McCarthy could not quite track down Torberg. Lucas covers down low. Shot in front. Save is made. Puck comes loose. Capone trying to follow it up. The Terriers circle the wagons and block in front. We're under a half minute. Phillips got a little help to free it up. And the Terriers hit the empty net. Stevens from about, oh, about 100 and 60 feet. Absolutely, the Terriers of Boston University, they respond, message received, bounce back, and come away with a 5-2 victory over the Yukon Huskies here tonight. Jay, I talked with you after the second period yesterday, and the vibes were not great. A much better team today. What was different? Uh, I thought we just played a lot of hard work, 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 and this is the second weekend in a row where the team has had to regroup after Friday. What's this say about the team's resilience? Uh, I mean, it says we got to win both of them, uh, so we don't have to bounce back like that on, on Saturday or Sunday. But obviously, it's uh, it's nice to see kind of some resiliency uh, that we had. Uh, and you're ending the weekend with four points. With all of the recent history between these two teams, what does it mean to have that in the weekend? Yeah, I mean, it's a great weekend for us. Uh, obviously, we had a solid case right now with that for last year uh, from them. And obviously, we don't like them, and they don't like us, so it makes, makes for a good rivalry, a good game every night. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Um, yeah, another um, good response from our, from our team. Um, you know, we didn't play our best last night, and... Um, we expected to have a good response from our group. Uh, the, I think our leaders uh, led the way tonight. Um, Vinny, another really good game. But I thought we set the tone in the first period. I thought we came out and played the right way, and uh, we were on the attack. And 
Uh, we got away from it a little bit in the second. Um, you know, when, when, then when we're up there, they're going to push a little bit. But you know, we weathered the storm there in the third, and it was a big win for us tonight. Can you talk a little bit about the physicality of Utah's game? Yeah, that's that's the way they play. They play hard. Um, you know, they finish every check. You know, they try to get under your skin. Um, they do a good job with that. Coach, what change did you see in the top six and upperclassmen play tonight after a more quiet night? I think I think they wanted to respond. I think um, they took it upon themselves. They know they didn't have their A game last night, and tonight they wanted to come out and play well, um, and they did. Uh, I think it was just a response from them. They're, they're veteran guys. Um, they, they knew they needed to respond, and they did. Coach, you mentioned the, the first period there. You did a really good job of limiting their chance, the chances. What did you like about what you did defensively in the first? Um, I, I just think we... Our structure was really good. I, th I thought I think we broke pucks out right away, and, and we got on the attack. And that's what we talked about. We had to be better in D zone, closing off plays quickly and transitioning. And that's what we did tonight. And um, you know, in the first period, we spent a lot of time in their end, and that's what we wanted. Switch up the bottom six a little bit. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, after a loss, uh, there's some guys that haven't played. Uh, Caravas and Zabine have been out for a little bit, so. You know, it was our first back-to-back -back game, so I thought they'd give our group a little bit of energy. So that was the reason behind that. Any updates on Tate Weber? Uh, I think he's going to be okay. Um, I, I don't have any updates yet, but it looked like I saw him after quickly, and he, he seems okay. So hopefully, he's all right. Can you talk about Lane Hudson's uh, game this weekend and specifically his goal tonight? Yeah, it was great to see him get his first goal. I mean. Every time he has the puck on his stick, he looks like he's going to make a high-end play. So he, he was really fun to watch tonight. Um, he's a competitive kid. He, he made some great plays. So he, he, was, he, he had an excellent game. Can you comment about uh, Dubon's game tonight? Vinny, he's, he's a gamer. Like I've talked about it before. Like he, he's ready to play every night. Uh, he's a competitive kid. Like he, he loves being in the net. And, and again tonight, he made some huge saves for us. Obviously, at the end of the game, we gave a couple breakaways, and he was right there to stop them. Well, I think we just have to be, you know, stay out of the box, number one. Again, tonight, I think that's we got in a little trouble in the second period, um, you know, taking too many men on the ice penalty. They end up scoring a goal, and that gave them a little momentum. So I think the biggest thing for us is just the discipline and be ready to go Friday night. Um, Tristan played a little bit more tonight. What did you see? Well, Tristan. Listen, he's, he's always going to play the right way. He, he, he's always going to compete. He's always going to play the right way. He's a smart player. So I tried to give him a little more ice time. He's a really good penalty killer. So anytime we took a penalty, you know, he was going to uh, be out there. And I thought he played really well tonight. Thank you. Thank you. you guys were put on the line together tonight. Obviously, produced most of the goals. So what do you think worked for your line? Um, we did a good job getting pucks in deep. Uh, hunting them and uh, winning our battles. That really, turning the puck over in their zone helped us get second chances, and that's where we found a lot of our offense. Yeah, I guess just piggybacking off that, I think we just had like chemistry off the ice. Uh, I mean, we were mates, uh, so uh, the chemistry, like, right? we, we were just clicking up there, so it was fun. How does it feel to get the first goal that? Oh, it feels good. It feels great. Uh, we were just talking about it, actually. I. Uh, I was lucky to still be in that spot because I was I was celebrating. I thought Lane Hudson tucked that one away, so I was about to go go for a skate with him, but it popped out for me. So, uh, pretty good in the series. Obviously not, you know, staple of your guys' game. Do you still enjoy kind of playing that position? Now that you've been a bit of a quicker team than you thought. Yeah, absolutely. Games like that, even yesterday, those are always fun when it's a one goal game. You go into OT. And today, both games were just close, good battles. And even though it may not be our style, it's still fun to be there. It's fun to be engaged. Yeah, I think it just shows our character. I mean, obviously, like, our team has a lot of skill. But like, we're not afraid to, to go to war with, with teams who play a physical game. How does it feel playing in front of Vinny versus playing in front of Drew? Does it change your game at all? No, not at all. Both are great goalies. Yeah, Vinny's a gamer. Like, we, we have full faith in him. Yeah. So, and you guys had two comeback wins this weekend, last weekend. What does that say about this group early in the season? I think it shows that this team early on is willing to do what it takes to win. Usually you'll see teams dip off in the beginning and then find it later on, kind of like what we did last year. But everyone's bought in right from the get-go, and I think that those comebacks really show that. Um, UConn came into the 
this weekend with a perfect PK. Uh, why were you guys able to change that? Um, we did a we we struggled yesterday, but we did a good job getting pucks in the net and then creating chances off the rebounds and retrieving pucks in zone. And once we got them scrambled and got them moving out of their diamond, that was when we found success. And just quick off that, I think we just had a shot mentality. We've been a little not afraid to shoot the puck, but we haven't shot as much as we'd like to. Um, so we were shooting it downtown, town, the back of the net a couple times. Yeah. Anything else from you guys? Yeah, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you.